we built a way for you to track keyword performance using Google Studio and just Google Search Console. So if you're not using any of the standard keyword tracking tools, you can build out similar reportings and in many cases more in-depth reporting uh, right inside Looker Studio. So the first thing we have here is uh, keyword performance by position. So this is showing the count or the number of keywords in these different position ranges. So we can see in the top three of Google, we have 25 keywords and then four to 10, which would be the bottom of the first page, we have 15. And you could go down the list and see page two, page three, and the rest. Uh, we also have the total amount of keywords we're ranking for at the bottom. So what you could do here is compare the last 30 days versus the prior period, see if you're seeing growth or decline in any of these ranges. Uh, then we just have kind of the standard Google Search Console metrics, and we're looking at a period over period snapshot and a year over year at the bottom. Now this data source doesn't have year-over-year -year data yet, but if it did, it would show the percentage change at the bottom. So then we get into the keyword trends. And this is where you could really start digging into individual keyword performance. Um, so you'll see this table here, which has some of the main metrics, and then you'll see these four trend charts for each of the metrics in Google Search Console. So right now this is showing everything, but the real power of this is actually clicking on an individual keyword, like this one, and then it will automatically filter uh, all four of these charts to just show the data for that one keyword. So now we can see our rankings have improved, we're getting more clicks, impressions, and then what our CTR is at the bottom. Uh, so again, I could easily just click on another keyword and see how that is performing. So, and this will win all your keywords from Google Search Console. So you could automatically have a easy way of drilling into every keyword your website is ranking for and then seeing where you're making progress and where you may need to focus. Uh, we also included impressions by position. So this is showing us how often we show up at each of the top 10 positions on page one. Then it's showing us how many impressions we have on page two and page three and so on. Uh, what you would want to do with this chart is actually look at the current period, which is here the last three months, and then compare it to the prior period. And then we could start to see where our visibility is either growing or declining. So you could see on page one, most of our uh, top 10 positions have improved over the prior period. We could also see that from page two to page six as well. Uh, this is important to look at because when you're publishing new content, you're typically not going to see impressions on page one or traffic, but you will typically see impressions in this lower area, which is a good sign you're on the, the right track and should just stay the course with content production, depending on your website's authority and, and history, uh, things may be slower in the beginning to get traffic, but you could at least see that uh, whether impressions are trending in the right direction. We also included, uh, the seven to nine month range. So kind of that previous period to this one. So we could even go back even further and see where performance has come from. So this website uh, was just getting going around then. So you can see very little visibility on page one, very little visibility going forward. Then we've published some more content and done that again. And you can start to see some of the uh, visibility improvements on the first page and page two so far. And then finally, what we have and what we're calling growth opportunities, it's just a quick way to filter keywords to come up with some ideas on what you should could potentially focus on. Uh, so this, we're just looking at very bottom of page one or page two keywords. Uh, these would be good ones in the short term to look into. If they're not in your plan uh, going forward, you could potentially optimize or build backlinks or whatever the tactics you use to get these keywords onto page one. But this is a great snapshot of that kind of short-term opportunity that your website has. And then at the bottom here, we're looking for keywords that are already on page one but we've sorted it by the ones that have the lowest click-through rate. So again, we've mapped it to the URL as well. So we can quickly see this keyword is in the bottom of page one. Uh, this is the page that's ranking, but we don't have any clicks. Our click-through rate is zero. This might be one to look at the title tag and the meta description to see if we can improve and drive uh, the click-through rate up to ultimately get clicks and improve our position. So you can scroll down and just see all of those. Uh, as we start getting to the bottom, these are going to be the key keywords with the highest click-through rate. Um, so you could ignore those, but really focus on the top of this table and kind of the middle area here. So that's the report so far. We're working on adding a few new slides to this to make it even more in depth. Uh, one feature we're working on is trying to have a percent change here instead of just looking at these two side by side, actually including something like this. So that'll be an update that we 